Now, for more on this matter, we are joined in the studio by our current affairs commentator, Mr. Teng Ji Meng. He's an associate professor of American studies at Beijing Foreign Studies University. Welcome to our program, Mr. Teng. Hello. Happy New Year in advance uh, first. Uh, what do you see as the major drive behind the increasing number of outbound tourists from China as um, uh, more and more people are enjoying spending their spring festival overseas? Well, obviously, I, mean, I see several reasons that uh, contributes to the rise and surge of this very market in China. I think first thing first, Chinese consumers, the, the consumerism which is on the rise in China now. For example, consumers here in China are now pretty much kind of divided into multiple polars. Before, it was the kind of uh, uh, high net individuals or the special net worth individuals. These are the super rich people who travel and travel overseas on basically monthly, um, annual basis. Nowadays, it's not their sole right to travel overseas. Now is the middle class. The rising middle class in China is a phenomenon, for example, since the 1990s. And so if we talk about the 1990s, and we, we will see that it was the starting years in which the, the more and more Chinese middle class traveling overseas with uh, basically this group refers to the social group or the economic class with an annual income of 60,000 US dollars, according to uh, McKinsey's Global Institute. And so in this case, I think it is not, it, the economic prosperity plays a major role and also the rise of this very middle class. Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, we're happy to see the increasing number of the outbound, outbound tourists from mm -hmm. China, but we are also seeing uh, increasing numbers of uh, behaviors of bad mm -hmm. manners overseas. Mm -hmm. Uh, from the Chinese tourists. So what can be done to improve those, those kind of behaviors? Well, first off, Dongling, I think that uh, it's very risky to generalize that the Chinese tourists are actually bad, meaning that with bad manners. I mm -hmm. think that it is, it is, in a sense, fair to say that some some of these people are very bad and with bad manners. I agree, manners. but more and more behaviors have been exposed on the internet. Right, mm -hmm. right. But it's very natural. I see it as a kind of a natural phenomenon because if you look at the 1960s mm -hmm. when Japan and America became the richest country in the world and uh, they were spreading out, they were traveling ac across the world and they were also kind of gaining the notoriety of being the worst travelers right. with the ugly Americans, the ugly right. Japanese and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's it going to be a kind of a, uh, a steep learning curve for Chinese travelers. You mean th this, is the this is the phase we have to experience? That's right. This mm -hmm. is a natural phase for Chinese travelers. We are basically the newcomers on the block in terms of traveling overseas. And so if you look at the Chinese travelers, for example, they are they were nervous basically mm -hmm. in a strange land with the people with different people with strange people around them so it, 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 to a large extent the, psycholog the psychology is that they try to gain a sense of security and so they speak loud and sometimes mm -hmm. they are pushy and in that sort of uh, with that sort of a manner mm -hmm. and, and, and it's easy to improve and so mm -hmm. I think that the government or even travel agencies at various levels can improve this um, behavioral patterns of travelers in this country. For example, provide a kind of pre-trip training, mm -hmm. educating, and mm -hmm. some kind of seminar or workshops. Mm -hmm. And right now, I think the Chinese government is also doing very well um, in terms of uh, issuing a tourism law. Right. Last year is even a law mm -hmm. kind of a legis legislating against mm -hmm. bad behaviors. Mm. All right, thank you very much indeed, Mr. Cheng Jimeng from uh, Beijing Foreign Studies.